hired almost on a 100% athletics contract, meaning we were hired as athletic trainers for athletics first. We get the chance to work with the education program, and the education program does need certified athletic trainers to teach the courses. Right, we have a major here at St. Cloud State called um, athletic training. We call it the athletic training education program, and it's a five semester program. It is a major, not a minor. Uh, well, for me, choosing athletic training is my major. Uh, mostly I did it because my high school had a lot of health questions, health classes I could go to, so uh, I learned a lot of those classes and I liked what I was doing in those classes. Uh, I think that if we didn't have an education program, we didn't have the students around here, we would struggle a lot. I think that's hard for coaches or administrators to understand that we really rely on them and that we can't have them cover a practice or a game by themselves but being able to help us prepare for a practice. So my students are here an hour before practice, probably an hour after practice when I cover men's basketball, and they help tape the athletes, they help administer treatments, um, they help stretch, do whatever we need to get an athlete physically ready for practice. So as you come in as a freshman, you have to do observation hours, which is basically you go with the team in a rotation, uh, you do like the waters, and just learning the basics of the athletic training major. Uh, you watch all the older people do all the taping, all of the stretching, you learn from them. You ask your athletic trainers any questions that you have about the major. So as far as techniques on how you tape an ankle, how you would wrap somebody. So an athletic training day is probably Probably pretty atypical from most nine to five jobs in that we're here nights, holidays, and weekends, so our day kind of stretches depending on if we're going to be here late at night. But a typical day, if I'm just running a practice, I'm here by nine or ten in the morning. And I come in and I might be working on paperwork, usually setting up the athletic training room, uh, getting tubs filled, getting machines on cleaning up, kind of making sure the day is ready to go for the athletes to come and in. And then as you go into your sophomore year in the major, uh, you, you do more of like the testing off. So you're on your proficiencies, you actually test off on taping so you can participate in that. You test off on your ultrasounds, on your uh, stimulations. Lunch time, we start seeing some athletes roll in after practice for some treatments, those that can't get in right before practice. So we'll, we'll see a handful of athletes roll from here through the lunch hour. By one o'clock, we're starting to see tons of athletes in here as we're getting ready for practices. Practices run anywhere from 2 in the afternoon to 6.30, 7 o'clock at night. So pretty strong between 1 and 5. We're pretty busy in here. Sometimes they're not really able to move around and we're doing rehabilitations, we're taping, we're getting ready for practices. We might be doing some evaluations of injuries that occurred. So it's just kind of a real, just kind of run and jump time. As I said, as a junior and seniors, you do more of like the evaluation phase where somebody comes in with an injury and you go up to them and you ask them what they did, uh, how long ago they did it, if they've treated it at all, if they've seen anybody else for it. Uh, you come to a conclusion based on all the tests that you do, then you talk to your head athletic trainer about it and they'll make a decision on whether or not that person needs to be referenced out to a doctor, an actual physician, and if they can continue playing or if you have to sit them and they come up with a treatment plan from there. Um, then I kind of get to relax and watch practice and hope nothing too crazy occurs injury-wise. Come down here after practice, um, get guys, you know, they're showered up, so I get them iced down or some evaluations or appointments set up and then I get to shut down and find them at home. Athletic training at the college level is different every day, and I think that's what makes it exciting. You know, it's long hours, it's not always glamorous pay, you know, work nights, holidays, weekends, like we've said, but in the end, it's something different every day. The kids are phenomenal. You know, we get to really um, do what we do best, and that sometimes it's kind of fly by the seat of our pants and decide what needs to be done. Nothing's the same every day. Um, but I think being able to take an athlete, assess them or diagnose them on what's going on and get them back onto the court and watch them play and watch them win is probably the most rewarding part of this job. Athletic yeah. training majors a lot of behind the scenes work, so they're in here an hour before all the athletes and most of the time an hour, hour and a half after. Uh, you see somebody get hurt on the field, you see the trainer come out and rush them off, and that's all you see. You don't see them bringing them down to the training room, like making sure that they're comfortable, making sure they're getting crutches if they need them. Uh, if they need a brace, they're getting braced up or taped quick. You don't see that uh, as a person who's watching the game. If you're interested in athletic training, come find us. Come chat with us. We have a great program here, and it's not a huge program, but it's a, a successful program, and the kids that are here take it very seriously, and they, we have gone on to have kids in 
um, pro basketball and in pro hockey. We've got some at the Division One football level right now, some with pro baseball, and some that are working in clinics, some that are orthopedic surgeons, some that are physical therapists, and so it's just a great way to start a wonderful career. Come find us. Thank you.